Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Ebernum 5. Alright, so we are in Harston. And let's see here. I think we did with guard. You try to talk to this guard, you don't get far. You are told to direct all questions, queries, and requests through mirror. Okay, so. Come on. Maybe these will give some instructions here. And who is this? That's another guard. You know, always telling you're in a town because you hear them talking in the background. Ooh, here's another jobs board. Um, Gladewell, a scroll has been tacked to this wall. It is torn and scorched. Whoever was carrying it before he or she Ran into some trouble. It is addressed to Gladwell, the wizard, Northern Isles, urgent. Arkin Landing. Someone has left something odd on this job board. It's a intricately carved spinal spiral of blue crystal suspended from a leather thong. There is a tag on it which reads to Mabley, Harkin's Landings, Drake Pillars, payment on delivery. It might be worth delivering it. Should you find out where Harkins Landing is? Yeah, we'll take that one. Rat Bounty. The self-described Rat Lord has begun to bother merchants and travelers going to and from New Harnston. I was calling it Hanston, but I think that is an R. Yep, it is an R. Harston. Mayor Sulni declares a bounty to be paid in valuable crystals to whoever can whittle down as many his army of hideous rats the killer of 20 of the creatures in his lair should report to the mayor for the reward lowland slime there is a pulsing blob of slime that has been damaging the crops to the southeast of new harston the owner of those lands mother alice will pay a generous cash bonus to the adventurer who can destroy this hideous monster said adventurer will also receive two complimentary steaks of the highest quality we know where she is at i'm just going to go ahead and take these because i if i run across them then i'll be like well i should have taken them before uh, there's no time limit on them so all right now it's just trying to figure out where i'm at here And who is this? Picture, water. It's a, oh, not mine. I know it's not mine. Um, wipe your feet. Where are you at? I can't see you. Oh well. If I use the tab, I might be able to. Uh, Mother Alice. There she is. Mother Alice. This woman is remarkably well dressed and stylish for an Abenite. Why the clothes on her back? Why the clothes on her back were the height of fashion five or six years ago? She looks irritated. Well, I did want to contact you. There has been a shortage of adventurers lately, and I thought that I might be able to pay you for assistance. This is still true, even though you broke into my house. Did I break into your house? Hmm. I'm called Mother Alice, a gentle and a friendly name, though its owner seems to be neither. I own a fair amount of land around here. I sometimes need help managing and expanding my claims. I would pay well for your assistance. So you are wealthy? By Abenite standards, I am. Maybe even by surface standards, too. I was one of the first people to take the risk of coming to New Harston and one of the first to make claims. I was well rewarded for the gamble. And well, where's the gamble? That new Harston might end up like Harston. In Avernum, the first people to go anywhere tend to end up eaten, and the second people, too. So you claimed land. How does that work? I do not wish to discuss the... The Minitu... The... What is that? Minit... Minitit... Minitit of... Avernite law with you. I will simply say that the person who wishes to own a piece of unowned bare stone it needs to register it with the mayor and they pr protect it for she sighs. Never mind. It's not important to you. Well, maybe it is. Maybe I want to own something. Um, <coughs> Mother Alice's table sips legend tea and quietly ponders the business of the day. If if the presence of a well-armed empire soldier bothers her, she doesn't show it. You notice that her clothes are tailored to look Best in the dim green light of Avernum. They are almost lovely. Um, nice clothes. 
Thank you. I have them personally tailored on the surface and teleported down. My most expensive and ridiculous luxury. So you wish an assistance? You wish my assistance? I do. All of the local adventurers have headed into the no northern frontier for easier money, forcing me to resort to trying to bribe you. There is someone I want evicted. Mayor Solini has given me permission. He is a madman called the Rat Lord. He lives in the caves east of the here. Get rid of him. Report to me quickly without telling anyone else so that I can claim the lands. I will pay you very well. The Rat Lord? Is he a wizard of some kind? No, just an idiot. Who likes rats? No great loss. So get rid of him how? However you want. He has allowed his rats to attack travelers and merchants. Some have been horribly wounded, so I can assure you that no Avernite would raise a stink if you killed him. He has it coming, I assure you. And what do you want with your... What do you want with your land? Farmit, mushrooms, lynchin, beneficial herbs. Avernum's population grows and we, ha and we need more and more food and I will provide it for a healthy price. Okay... Okay, so, um, quest received the Rattler, which I already took that anyway. And I forgot to mark the time. Okay. This game doesn't, um, play like most games do where I can just, um, it's over here. Oh, these were stairs going down. What's this? Um, dice. I'll take that candle. No, that doesn't do it. Hmm. What's in here? No, I don't want it to get started looting people's places. Oh, but there's another door here. Um, the door is held shut with magic bonds. You will need to break them with a spell. Okay. Um, oh, that's a cook. Avernite Cook. Some of the townsfolk in New Harston are interested in seeing what someone from the surface looks like. Others have others hate you. Most of them have an, have in common being afraid to, to talk to you. Okay. So she now marked on the map. Yes. Yep. Mother Alice's. Okay. And who is this? Um, now entering static builds. The sign says Lark's Hedge Wizard. This is a mage's workshop. It is an active one. You are surrounded by bubbling pots and pylons, shooting out constant flows of energy. Your skin starts to tingle. In the magical tradition of respect for the safety of regular townsfolk, this building is right here in town so that any accidents can cause the maximum amount of damage. Okay. Um, skills. This is not, it doesn't say anything about not taking them. Oh, that has stairs going up. Lark, you meet New Hurston's mage in residence. She seems friendly enough. She approaches to greet you, taking pains to keep clear of the magical pylons. She isn't as pale thin as the other Avernites in town. She has been in Avernum for a while, but you doubt that she was born here. She seems very distracted, although all of the magical machinery in her lab di distracts you too. Welcome, warrior, she says. I am Lark, hedge wizard of New Harston. I have been very busy of late, and not so much that I can't speak with the uh, envoys from the Empire. I'm sure that I have offers that can interest you. What do you do here? I am the hedge witch. 
wizard, one kind takes up residence in the poor and put up on villages of Avernum and provide services to good regular people. It is not as flashy as a career in the Tower of Maga, but it is very rewarding. However, of late, my services have been needed in other areas too. What do the good regular people need? Pests incinerated, attacking cave monsters repulsed, the occasional healing brew or love potion, and so on. So you make potions? Not really, not the sort of potions you would need. Weaker brews that heal a wound in a week instead of a, instead of a minute. There is an alchemist just outside town, though. Just leave by the north road. You can't miss it. Follow your nose. Um... Lark patters, putters about her laboratory, adjusting the pylons and adding herbs to the bubbling mixtures and humming happily. She occasionally chants with you about gossip, current events, and what passes down here for the weather. Glad you are still here. I think I have much to offer you. She is very friendly and outgoing for a mage. You aren't sure whether this should worry you more or less. Um, can you teach me magic? She grins mischievously. Ah, you won't be the first citizen of the Empire to slip down here for a little unauthorized magic. I know that well. I don't know many spells that will help you in a combat situation, but I would happily teach them to you. Always happy to give a little thumb in the eye to my friends upstairs. She points up at the surface. Um, are you from the Empire? I am. I came down years ago looking for a place where I could study magic in peace, where I could cast a spell without filling out a form first. I'd be careful down here if I were you. You might find that freedom gets addictive once you experience enough of it. Um, let me see your wares. Okay, improve. Oh, okay. She didn't have any. He needs healing, but I don't think. Oh. Learn unlock doors. Hmm. He's the wizard per se. He's actually <clears throat> I didn't I didn't do my party very well from what I'm seeing. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have had. She should have been a sorceress. And he should have been or whatever. But we got two ranged fighters more or less. Well, a rogue can do both. They can do range in melee. So I might have to retrain her because he's range. He should be just range, and she should be melee and range. Um. Cost 50. Improved call. I haven't used that. Improved spell spray acid. I haven't used that either. And I haven't used the daze at all. And haste is a good thing to have, but it's a little expensive. Um, I think right now we're just going to improve the fire bolt. Um, and do spray acid. Okay. <clears throat> so well, is she going to be marked on the map yes yeah, she is okay that's not what I meant is this where the mayor is at must be makes sense it would be out just up from the jobs board Time for guard. You try to talk to this guard. Um, well, there's a sign there, but it's not. You enter New Harston City Hall. It is on recent. <coughs> excuse me. It is of recent construction. The dust and supplies lay unused, waiting for bureaucrats to arrive and help process the hordes of treasure seekers needing, heading to the northern frontier. The Avernites have learned to. <coughs> I've learned a few tricks from the Empire to project an impressive appearance. The floor is made of wood, a remarkable expense in the underworld. It would definitely impress a cave dweller. You, not so much. You are definitely expected. A woman is waiting for you in the northern alcove. Following the same custom as on the surface, she wears a sash to identify her as the mirror. What's in here? This paper, parchment... <clears throat> Those stairs go up. What's that? 
You need paper. Yes, I do. You deliver the note to Mira Suli. She chuckles. It says that you are coming to see me, and it was correct, because here you are. Well done. Excellent organization. She reaches into her pouch and brings out a few coins for you. Um, did I just complete a quest? Um... I think I must have had one. Package. Yeah, I think I did. Um, Trans and paper, Sergeant. I don't know, gave you your first mission. Do that. What's the matter with the reason to get the papers? Try to get, try to get to this. Try to try to do this without getting any of the Avernites angry at you. Okay. <coughs> Marasuli. Sol. Sol. <coughs> Salmi? You finally reached the mayor in New Hartson. She is a dignified woman in her 40s. You doubt that she has even set foot on the surface. She has held up well, but life in the underworld is starting to wear on her, is starting to wear her down. She gives you a calm, dignified bow. Bow, bow. Then she smiles. Her grin does not comfort you. She is clearly not a woman to be t um, trifled with. Ah, yes. The honored visitor, the soldier of the Empire. Come to me with a request, no doubt. But where are my manners? I am Mayor Sulmi. Would you like some tea? Um, sure, I'll take some tea. Mayor Sulmi pours a cup and hands it to you. It is our best tea made from the lynchings that grow on our land. She takes a sip. You take a sip. Mayor Sulmi notes the tortured expression on your face as you taste the hideous brew. It doesn't bother her at all. You are not used to Avonite drinks, I see. It is bitter, is it not? But it does not bother us. We Avonites have grown used to bitterness over many years. Now tell me, what do you want from us? Well, I'd like to know more about New Harnston. A bit of history? That is not an imposition. We are proud of our past as an independent nation. Distress put on the word independent is subtle, but unmistakable. <clears throat> We are at the limits of civilized Avernum here. This is the site of what used to be the village of Harston. When you empire invaded us, Harston was cut off. Grants destroyed it. I'm sorry, giants destroyed it. But in these times of peace and tranquility, it was inevitable that this area would be resettled. And here we are. So there are giants around here? Very few. We killed the rest of them as repayment for their destruction of Harston. We Avernites have long memories. We remember who has done us wrong. And Avernum is peaceful now? It is. We had trouble a few years back. Problems with the Venerian. <coughs> I ain't always pronounced that wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. The ba the Bonetti? The Bonetti. That has been settled, and we are at peace with them. Now our only problem is managing the population. There are so many people who prefer the cold and dark to life under the Empire. It can be hard to find places for them all, and thus we expand. Well, I'd like to know more about the Vahanati. I am not the one to teach about those alien creatures, the humanoids of the lowest caverns. Anyway, we have other matters to discuss. It's hard to manage your population. The mayor grows weary. Our conversation has gone far afield. We have other things to discover, to discuss. Okay. Um, is there this, um, okay, so we know that. Yeah. <clears throat> is being mayor here a difficult job? Of course, and it would be difficult even if the assistants even if the assistance the castle promised me ever arrived, we have a constant flow of travelers coming through here, rough types, heading to the northern frontier. We have to record them, make sure they can be allowed to proceed and keep them under control. And of course, the scuttlers can can't and the scuttly scuttlers can't don't help. Uh, what is the castle? It is the capital of Avernum, far south of here, in the Great Cave. It is where King Stra Straeus rules, and rules wisely. He knows that Avernum will not tolerate a tyrant. He is wise, but not always sufficient, which is why I have not yet received my assistance. Why do some people want to go to the northern frontier? 
Wealth, adventure, stupidity, and most importantly, a plot of cave to call their own. It is the great dream to own land, to own a home, to not be a serf. But so many of the usable caves at Avernum have been claimed that people dreaming of land need to go farther and farther. Why would you stop someone from going north? We will not let anyone commit suicide or make themselves a burden on those already there. The decrepit, the insane, those without proper supplies, we do not let them get on. We do not let them get on a boat. Sally, that means we are stuck with them. But not a problem. If they cause trouble, we dump them into the abyss. It's not far to the west, after all. The abyss. Yes, it's sort of an avernum within avernum, where we put other thugs and criminals. It's west to here. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. They have the emperor more than... They hate the empire more than anyone, and that takes a lot. Okay, um... I have come to get papers of transit so that we can begin the hunt for Doricus. And I would like to give those papers to you, but communications are slow, and I am not sure how many of your people the castle will allow to explore. However, if you were to do something to aid us and show that you are trustworthy, well, that would speed communications. Hmm. Little bribery there? There is a problem I do not have the resources to solve, but you, but you do. While well, I'll get your paperwork sorted out, why don't you go northwest? There is a mage up there. His name is Henriks. He has been sending hordes of scuttlers to torment us and eat our crops. He demands payment. We do not submit to extortion. Rid us of him, and I am sure I convince my superiors to give you papers. Um... What? I will not handle your errand? Fine, I will hunt this Hendrix. This is... This is infuriating. You are hunting the... Oh, did I do the wrong one? You are hunting the attempted assassin of your empress, and the worms are having you do their pitiful business for them. It is an insult, but you have your orders, and you have no choice. I know that you are forbidden from killing Evernights, but this Hendrix is not one of us. He is an extortionist and a thug. Get rid of him, and I'm sure that your papers will arrive. This is infuriating. You are hunting the attempted assassin of the Emperor, and the worms are having you do their pitiful business for them? I'm not understanding that. <clears throat> hmm. That reply to what I did. So where is this guy? He now resides in the caverns northwest of here, where he breathes the scholars and commands them to attack us. Did he create the scholars? No, they appeared years before he did. The magical environment of Abernim lends itself to the spontaneous generation and disappearance of such oddities. But Hendrix is the one who found ways to make them large and obedient in order to threaten us and extort our wealth. Okay, um... Oh, what do you think of the Empire? She looks surprised. What an odd question. But I forgot that you are a warrior, not a diplomat. I was born here. My grandparents were flung into the underworld to die by the Empire. We know that many in the Empire resent that a single square foot of land anywhere in the world is not under their domain. I do not hate the Empire, like many do, but I do not trust it. Why were your relatives thrown into Avernum? She sighs. I suppose that you were not told. That is a very impolite question. Avernum has always been a place of new beginnings. We do not dwell on the past. They made the Empire angry, so the Empire tried to destroy them. The Empire thought that to, thought that to be justice. That is all you need to know. Sure. Uh, can I get some supplies to help me in this mission? I will speak with the local merchants. They will deal with you now that you are... Among, that you are aiding us. Okay. So, I think that's it for that. Um, what do we have here? Just papers. Just papers. And what are these? Teacups. Oh, this just takes me out. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh. Donacio? 
The Abernathys, from which you have seen me poor, tend to be a sloppy people. Soap and good cloth are scarce down here. So grime and holes in the knees are to be expected. And yet this man, while he is pale and skinny, has the rest of the rest of his people. Ah. As okay. And yet this man, while while he is pale and skinny as the rest of his people, is immaculately dressed. Not stylish, but his clothes are clean and free of tears. He looks like he has been expecting you. I am Damasino, he says. I am an agent of King Strius and the Abenite crowd. It is nice to meet the Empire in infiltrator. I am meant to keep an eye on you, one of my many jobs. Mm, so you are an agent of Avernum. What does that mean? Well, I do things. I'm not a spy. I'm a facilitator. The castle collects information, develops... A list of tasks and hands it to someone like me, along with funds to hire adventurers. Once my tasks are completed, I can go home. Was it a long journey to get here? Quite a few months. I have already dispatched adventurers in the Silbar, Formillo, and Fort Draco. Yeah, these are all towns that I am very familiar with from the other ab um, aber abernums. Once my little jaunt in the northern frontiers is done, I will return to civilization. Are you eager to go home? Oh, yes, I could use a good proper bath and a haircut, and my clothes are showing distinct signs of wear and tear, wear and, un and unattractiveness, not that you can see. Also, as much as I enjoy the company of the ladies of the provinces, I feel you can only get decent conversation in the Grey Cave. Okay, um, you will be keeping an eye on me? Mm-hmm. Well, one of the jobs I must perform before I can return is to see the Empire infiltrators and report on their appearance and perceived competence. Done and done. One last thing on the list. And how do you perceive my competence? He chuckles and remains silent. You want to punch him, but it would probably make your superiors angry. You deny yourself the pleasure. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a pompous bastard, isn't he? What sort of jobs do you do? Oh, I don't do any. I remain in the comforts of town, keeping comfortable and drinking the better wine while the adventurers in my hire do the work. I also do a lot of traveling. I'm sure that is not a surprise. So you don't experience any risk? Dionysino laughs. No risk? You must be mad. If you travel much in Avernim, you'd know just how much risk I experience. He rolls up his sleeve and shows you a nasty and clearly recent scar. It was horrible. When I got this, it ruined my best shirt. <laughs> okay. And, well, and would you pay me to do anything? Mirrors Sumi has deemed you worthy of acting in Avernum's interest. I trust her judgment. Sure. I will pay you well to do a little job for me. There is a goblin's infestation east of here. Soon it will spread. They always do. But the situation is unusual. There is a giant in the goblin lair using the creatures as his servants. That's kind of very similar to Abaddon. Was it Abaddon? No. One of the other Avernums was the same situation. Hmm. Correct the giant. Contact the giant. Tell him that Avernum will pay him if he keeps the goblins under control. And no, it was Abaddon. So they're using the kind of same storyline from one game to another. And thinned out, and thinned out when necessary. If he does this, we will pay him a hundred coins per month and let him live, of course. Well, tell me about the giant. A captured goblin reported that his name is, oh my goodness, Mar oh, Marl Sucker. Okay, poetic, yes. It is in the lower chambers of near caves, east and a little south. It is one of the... It is one of the few survivors of the recent massacres of the stupid creatures. You would seriously deal with the giant? Why not? They are on the run, and we Avernites are a practical people, and goblins are horrible pests. Okay. Um, sure. So did I get a quest then? A friendly giant? Hmm. Alright, what's down here? Is this a tavern? The sign says the Harston Arms. I can buy stuff here or sell stuff here. Oh, uh, who's this? Townsman. Some of the townsfolk in New Harston are interested in seeing what someone from. Okay, we already know that. Uh, who are you? That's Sa. Sasa. 
This Avernite seems two-thirds of the way into a very serious drunk. The dirt on her face and arms and the calluses on her hands mark her as a very hard worker. There is a large leather pack on the floor by her feet. She looks up at you with unfocused eyes. Hey there, I'm Sasa. Have a seat and... Wait a minute. Oh, Empire soldiers. It's an invasion. With some effort, you manage to calm her down before the guards get here. <laughs> ah, Empire soldiers. What is your job? I'm a miner. I pull wealth out of the walk. A toast to us. Without this, Avernum would have to use no use at all. Why wouldn't Avernum have any use? Avernum would have no use, no use at all. Okay. Keeping all of this down here. Keeping us alive. Running the teleporters. All, sp all expensive. She waves her mug to help make the point. Gems, silver, that's what pays for all this. Keeping us alive, running the teleporters, all expensive. Where are you working now? Nowhere, mine drying up, miners going north. I'm at the edge of, edge of civilization. Yeah, I'm going too. Okay, I see that you have a pack. Are you traveling? I am, I am trying to get into the frontier to make my for fortune. To fortune, she takes a swig of ale. Yes, but I can't afford passage. On the boat, so I work trying to make the money, but I'm not, but not much work. Say, you wouldn't give me a few coins, would you? Um, yeah, and you're just going to drink them, right? Um, sure, I'll give you a few coins. You give her a little bit of money. She seems very grateful. You are, you are good people for the Empire people, I mean. You know what I mean. Soon, I'll have enough to get out of here now i have to she gets up and lurches away from you she is in a hurry something is about to come out of her somewheres <laughs> okay so i lost a little bit of my money but that's fine um what's up here this junk why would someone leave copper coins just sitting around All right, so we need to talk to him, Brian. This is a very busy inn full of merchants and travelers. It is also the watching choice for those who want, the watering choice for those who want to, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the watering choice for those who want a list, a fast party before they enter the northern frontier. The innkeeper is clear, clearly very unhappy to have an Empire soldier in his establishment. He says between gritted teeth, I am Brian. This is my Hurston Arms. What do you want? Um, anything interesting happening in town? Can I get a room? Nope. No free rooms. Best be moving on. Don't you have a fort you can sleep in? Can I get a drink? Uh, no. That's fine. Anything interesting happening in town? No. Um... Well, you're not very friendly at all. Nope. Can't get a drink. I mean, I can get a drink, but is it worth it? And what's this? Hmm. Do I need it? I thought if I double clicked on it, I should take it, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I need a place to sell stuff. You can take candles. Always need candles, don't we? Because I have to say, the other Avernums I played, um, they had dark areas too, but um, is that going down? Yep, it's going down. Okay. They had dark corners too, uh, dark dungeons, but they could, were still, you could still see in them very well. This one here, you can't. It's, um, so we got stairs going up and stairs going down. Well, it makes sense because it's a tavern after all. Who's this? Goodman Wolf? This man actually looks pleased to see you and you can tell why. He's from the Empire. It looks like he came down very recently. He is sitting alone at his at this rear table far from the Avernites. He is drinking some of the foul Avernite mushroom ale, wincing with the wincing wincing with each sip. He motions to you to sit with him. I'm Goodman Wolf, he says. Nice to see some of my kind. It's been a long time down here. It's odd that he calls himself Goodman. On the surface, that title usually means that the person is a landowner. And how is the L, as if I didn't know? He takes another sip and wins it's cra It's cheap. All I can say for it. Then he offers you it, the mug. Try it. Um, sure. You take a sip of the infamous Avernetti 
mushroom L. It tastes like, well, you would expect mushrooms to. It's a intriguing blend of raw potato, moist dirt, and old sock. Clearly an acquired taste. Or the truly desperate. You hand the mug back. Whoop nods sympathetically. Been an Avernum long? A few months. I'm a farmer. Or I was. I'm trying to establish a claim down here so that I can set up and bring my family down to join me. But it is very difficult to... Very difficult. How did you get permission to come down, Avernum? It's a lottery. Far more want to come down than are allowed. We're lucky that Empress Prazek, God's protector, lets anyone come down at all. Why are things so difficult? Because to start a farm, I need land. I need to make a claim. It was impossible to get land on the surface, and now it is impossible to get land here. Everywhere decent and safe has been taken. He looks up at you, noting your weaponry. He smiles. Say, Kate... Say, care to help a fellow exile from the surface? Believe it or not, I can pay. Um, well, I'll help if I can. He nods. There is some good land east of here near the river. I'd claim it in a second, but it's dangerous. There's a crazy living. There's a crazy living out there. Calls himself the Rat Lord. He breeds rats, like Hendrix, but keeps to himself more. Anyway, the mayor will probably send someone to evict the rat lord soon. If I knew exactly when it was safe, I'd go out there and claim some land for myself. If you got rid of the rat lord and let me know that first, I'd give you one of the things I snuck down from the surface, and you'd be helping someone in the same fix you're in. Why is he called the rat lord? Because he breeds rats. He likes them. He's not a wizard. He's just a guy that likes rats. He shrugs. Evernetties. They're crazy. What can you do? Um. Been an Evernim long. A few months. I'm a hunter. Okay. Um. There is so little land on the surface. Most is held by the rich. There are some left on the continent of Balaran, and I, I remember that one. But most of that was given by Empress Prazek to the Evernites to give the worms who wanted to return to the surface a place to live. I like Empress Prazek, all right, but a lot of people were very angry that she gave so much land to the, to them. How did you get permission? Okay, um, okay, so land grab. Interesting. What is that? Um, oh, okay. Anything in this room? Nope, ale. Everyone's got, everybody's got wine. I'll take the candles, because they do burn out after a while. We go, we're going to be going underground a lot. Oh, I need to increase my lock pick, my lock picking skills. Nothing there of interest. This is the common area. Mm, I think we've all got cloaks. Oh, how do I how do I go through the Oh here we go. We've all got cloaks. He doesn't. Alright, you get the cloak. Okay. Anything else here? Mm. Tunic. He has. Yeah, okay. Well, now we gotta go down the stairs, you know, because there's stairs going down the other, or they're coming up the other way over there. Oh, I thought they were going up. I thought they were going down, they were actually going up. Okay. Come on, move. Hmm. Um, towel, towel, pillow. And there are triggers in the walls. I just never saw them. Pillows. Oh, what's this? Hmm. You can, you are able to tell this is a trap, but your tool use skills aren't high enough to disarm it. Try again to, try again to proceed anyway. All right, I better quick save. Because it's kind of going to blow me up. 
Okay, the trap shoots out a cloud of mist. It forms into a creature. Wow. He was in the wrong space. He was in the wrong spot, wasn't he? Okay. Um. And do this. Huh. Wow. Okay, you need to get back here and use a potion on yourself, kiddo. Wow, he is nasty. This is why I need heal. Okay, he's next. I thought he had, you need to equip an, I thought he had a missile. Okay. You get back here. Oh, you don't have any healing potions. But you have, um... Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Damn it. Okay. He's probably fatigued. He is. All right. Yeah, there goes my... <laughs> I had to try this. Damn it. All right. He is just so weak. And you missed too. Yep. Okay. I see I'm going to die here. Um. Well, you did actually do something there. Um. Oh, okay. He's done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this guy survives, I'm going to be shocked. Um. And you keep missing. Yep. <laughs> All right. Avernum is a harsh place. Countless adventurers have fallen to rock slides, hunger, drowning, and of course, a limitless variety of monsters. Unfortunately, you have added yourself to the legions of Avernum fallen. It is a pity, but hardly surprising. Is the end every adventurer, or at least every sane one, expects. And yet, Avernum's troubles remain. Some fall, but the where it continues. It's time to try again. <laughs> okay. This is why I did that quick save. All right. So we know better than to handle that. And I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. Um, we Now we know what's up here. Hmm. Like if, I, if I remember, that's the whole thing. There's always so many things in this game to try to remember. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching Sahara Out.